up, guys? I had just finished pouring some slants. I've got a bit of a extra auger left over here, so I thought I would see how many plates I can pour while I'm waiting for it to cool down. I've got some backup sleeves that I'll leave off to the side. And I did about five liters of auger. It's right at one, 121, that's where I like it. So I'm just gonna go through my standard pour. It's important to leave some head space in your media bottle so it doesn't explode when you take off your lid like that. And I'm right underneath the airflow here. So I'm gonna just work work my way up. So this is a black charcoal yeast auger. Yep. I did see a couple of drips right here, so you really want to avoid that, but if you catch it early enough, it'll be fine. I've been messing around with the black charcoal plates for about a year now, and I really like them. You can see the mycelium pretty clearly, and it's supposed to help inhibit the, uh, the mushroom exudates when they grow, so especially for longer term storage, but I mostly just use them for production. I first tried out the black charcoal when I was doing some tissue culture and we were having problems with the plants releasing exudates as they are developing their roots. So we switched over to the black charcoal and it definitely was a problem solver to help keep the pH more stable. I'm aiming for 15 mils. There's a little line on these dishes that you can shoot for.
And then, all right, then this is potato dextrose with light malt. I kind of wanted to make a chunkier one to get ready for production for the spring. So I'll be uh, pouring these out for a couple months. Uh, what's up to everyone out there? Some of these plates will be headed out to uh, Lions Main Equipment and Supply. Some of them I'm going to use for breeding, and then some of them are going to be used for production. So this is why I like the vertical flow hood, because... You can definitely fit more plates and the cleanliness level is the same wherever you are inside the hood. So I can take, take this stack, push it to the back and then pour another stack here and the wind won't be blocked by these plates. So I could fit probably a couple thousand plates. I usually do about 300 to 500 a week. Now, if anyone's wondering what the crack is in the back, that's from resting fruiting blocks against the, the plastic. So it heated up and cooled and then it caused that crack. But I caulked it up and it's not allowing, allowing any airflow, but I want to upgrade to a stainless steel housing. Those are the best. All right, so I should be able to finish these two, two stacks with this bottle. And then I'll try to answer some questions in the chat.
Good. All right. I guess I didn't have another bottle. All right. So trick for the end of your short. You can just kind of take the tower and twist a little bit. And there we go. I'll uh, see if I got any questions. All right, so shout out to everyone for joining in. If you're a pouring auger, um, I just did about three and a half liters in 12 minutes. So that's a good bar to set. So condensation, how do you keep condensation away? Um, so I just like to leave them in the, in the flow hood for about three days. And that way the condensation will kind of evaporate. Um, and it will allow for any contamination to reveal itself. Um, and then I'll usually seal them up, leave them in the flow hood for another week or so, and then they go off to wherever these plates are going. All right, and then, so someone pouring Friday, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And another trick is, you want to pour at the right temperature. So my plates were about, or the auger was about 130 degrees to about 121 degrees. So that's the sweet spot. And you can avoid a lot of contamination or uh, condensation like that. Um, yep, someone says keep the lids warm so you can raise the, the temperature of your lab. That could reduce condensation. Smallest dimension flow hood, would I start with? Um, so I would definitely get a two foot by four foot at least. This is a four foot by four foot or four foot by three foot vertical, but I would at least recommend getting a place where you can have something um, cooling and then still have space to work with. So probably four feet minimum. They do sell two foot ones, but it's almost too small unless you're just doing you know, hobby stuff. All right, guys, thanks for joining in. Um, I'll be pumping out some more videos and growing out lots of mushrooms. I got my, my uh, slants, so I'll be... Whoops. So I will be uh, putting out my slants from the, the fall onto these ones in the springtime, and then we'll start some new liquid cultures. I've got a bunch brewing behind me there. Um, lots of new strains on the way, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, much love.